donation, charitable works, taking care of the orphans. These are all ways we can use to help in our community and freely. Every community at home, abroad, they all need these services. One of the reasons they need these services is that we as humans are bound to be so different and uh, we have lots of uh, advantages sometimes over others. And uh, being members of a community or a society, we should be able to give our excesses, our excesses to the people. There is always someone in need of some of your excess, the excesses of your energy, the excesses of your intelligence, the excesses of your social interaction, the excesses of your time. So we're going to talk today about how to get yourself more involved in community services. This is free and it's from the heart and uh, we do hope most things that are done from the heart be promoted so that the society may smile from your action and you yourself feel a sense of fulfillment having put a smile on people's faces. We are all born in communities and we will always live in communities. It doesn't matter where you are, uh, you always have a group of people living around you. And the key question is how useful are you to these people? How do you make this environment, this community a better place? I believe that most people move out of their countries to live in diaspora and uh, they get mixed up maybe culturally or linguistically and can assist in community work. When I got to Shanghai in Malu Town, I started involving myself in community services and uh, I started literally started organizing parents, children, and old people to take part in festivals and uh, try to give them some cultural influence. I also took um, upon myself to volunteer for uh, traffic control when there was time for like a traffic jam and a traffic emergencies in the streets and there was always a need for someone to help guide the scooters and guide the cars and check on the pedestrians. We can also do that wherever we live. I believe that it's not a question of culture. I think it's the, the question here is um, the, the, the will, the will, the heart. If you are living in China and you want to volunteer your services to the people, Maybe you could get in touch with me. I know it's not that easy. I also had a chance to talk with one of the members of uh, the Red Cross Society in China. And uh, she told me it wasn't quite easy to integrate foreigners due to cultural reasons and uh, a lot of uh, control measures. But then uh, she was trying to find opportunities where we could get uh, some chances of assisting the community where we live. So we took children out for sports. We gave them a uh, brilliant, happy uh, Children's Day events. And uh, we let parents play tug of war, soccer, basketball together, just to create some community where people live together and play together and love each other, get to interact more and uh, feel a sense of community life. So I do encourage everyone living in China or living in any community around the world to think very carefully and try to get yourself integrated in the community by being a part of its uh, progress, part of its work, bringing fun and smiles on the faces of the people you live with and uh, giving your own best part of yourself. I know people could be stronger and uh, there's always a need. There's always someone who is smarter. There's always someone who is stronger, younger, and uh, someone who is a better organizer. So whenever you get into a community, you should think about yourself like, hi, how better am I than the people in this community or than anyone else in this community? What do they need from me? What can I do to give them a better uh, community life in the community? So I also had a chance that when I started practicing Chinese, we had to receive a government official in the district of Jading and uh, I was given a poem which I recited there. I just felt satisfied and happy, not because I was in the public, but I felt a sense of belonging to this community. And I felt like, all right, there was something I could do and uh, my services were needed. And sometimes with my friend here, Peterson, we were always my always talking to shopping malls and feel very easy and happy and playful and had great games with children. 
and definitely we started a company and uh, in this company we had a sense of giving to the people there were quite a lot of difficulties and uh, we were moving on but we had one key thing kept making keep bringing out some smiles on the faces of the people get people out of their stressful lives and giving a different way of looking at things integrate ourselves into the community and try to make people happy children grandfathers moms and dads we created different kinds of events that really kept the community attached children would celebrate birthday with other children i know in china the lots of uh, children are quite single child so they might not be able to have a community where they sit together and make her uh, birthday events and um, and occasions for for much more, more fun so we created such we pull up the parents to come out for like talk of war and uh, sack races and all kinds of activity and they were quite willing to come at the end of the day the feedback was so quite great they were so happy and uh, we felt like it's a uh, kind of a happy time here and uh, we were so willing and so happy when we got them really happy ourselves so in all uh, foreigners living in china foreigners living in other countries um, we all have a lot we can do and I tried to develop a culture of total respect for moms. This was like a personal culture. I know moms work pretty hard. They try to keep careers going. They try to keep food on the table. They try to get you going, eating and going to school and getting up earlier than everyone else, trying to be totally supportive of children. I tried to implant this huge culture into all the children in the community and to the men and uh, to the dads and we always had events for moms and make these events were quite amazing because every time we would talk children into crying because we would let them know exactly the, the strength of their mom how they should be supporting how they have not been supporting enough and uh, try to give them a chance to think that they will live better by supporting their moms and giving a chance some moms get really tired they get really tired get up early get, go to bed late try to catch up with career try to catch up with family try to take care and you know and sometimes i just meet a kid that just talk so rudely to the mom and doesn't disrespect mom so i try to implant this culture of respect for moms in the the communities i live in and I think I will never stop doing this wherever I am. If I live in this community, I will keep developing this. Uh, we just kind of slowed down recently because of the COVID-19, uh, the, the, the restriction into gatherings. So uh, believe me, if you're always willing to assist people in your community, you can get in touch with me and we'll pull this out together. It's always for free. Everything is not about money. Life is not all about money. This is a community. We make it better. Police officers are paid to take care of traffic. But so what? People can also assist them to make their work better. Do you think they are paid enough for the rigs to stand on the streets? I think not. I think not. Teachers and everyone, are, they are all paid to do jobs and stuff. But do you think the money is worth their selfless services to the community? No. So... You see grandmoms, they all stand on the streets like every day to hold the platter to check traffic.